Thank you so much. Thank you. Barry said, I promise I won't mess your hair up. And I said, at this stage of the game, I don't care. <laughs> this has been a great ride for the past two or three months. It has just been so much fun. A lot of work, but uh, something that I will treasure all of my life. And you know, the greatest part about it is I knew all six of the other inductees would be wearing black so I didn't have to worry about what I was going to wear. <laughs> How do I express too many in few words what they mean to me and my gratitude for their encouragement? What an honor the Oklahoma Heritage Association gives me tonight. My hope is that I have made a positive difference for others and significant contributions to Oklahoma, which I love so dearly. How appreciative I am for family and friends from many areas of my involvement who are here tonight, who have made it possible for me to be here this evening. I have cousins, I have nieces, I have ne nephews, I have my sister, and we're particularly proud of our daughter, George Ann, and our whole family, which includes seven grandchildren. Now listen to this, we had four graduate from college on the same day in May. <laughs> so uh, they're all here tonight, and we're very, very proud of every one of them. Somehow, I think uh, Chancellor uh, Johnson forgot, forgot to give us the family discount for having so many grandchildren in school at the same time. But I must acknowledge, George, the love of my life and my partner in the truest sense. But truthfully, don't you think after 45 years of listening to the same stories, it's, <laughs> it's time he sat through one of mine. <laughs> Everyone who has uh, lived a life ma mainly in politics, which I have, can appreciate the story and can appreciate the abuse that you take sometimes as the wife of a politician. And I shall never forget one day I was campaigning. And uh, back in the days, you know, when you literally walked the streets and handed out brochures. And this, I uh, handed a brochure to this gentleman and it had a picture of me on it. And uh, I walked on down the street and when I came back, he stopped me and he pointed to the picture. And he said, is this you? And I said, yes, sir, it is. He said, well, lady, you're a lot better looking on television than you are in person. <laughs> but truthfully, outside of our everyday lives, we each need to have a passion, a cause to serve others. And what a surprise when mine came in the late 60s when the late Governor Bartlett asked George and me to tour state facilities to see what was going on, what they might need. And that meant all the prisons, all the higher education, uh, tourism, health facilities, uh, you name it. And my aha moment came, as Barry said, when I was visiting a facility for the mentally retarded citizens in Paul's Valley. I saw firsthand in those institutions adults that should not be there. They may be socially retarded, but they were not mentally retarded. They had been put there as babies and had never lived anywhere else. So developmental disabilities became my passion. Move these special people from institution to group homes to see the group home number grow 
from one to over a hundred. That has been just great. Oklahomans who were previously confined to institutions are now living in group homes, going into the workforce, having a life, and it's so much fun to watch their exercise areas move from recreation yards to athletic event fields. And that's when I truly became a fan of Barry Switzer because of our involvement with Special Olympics. Yes, and as a first lady, I must confess, I was a lobbyist. And at that time, I obtained a new appreciation for anybody trying to get anything passed through the legislature. <laughs> Back when I was trying to get the group home set up. But in the truest sense, we worked on immunization for preschool children the requirement of infant car seats. We legislated the owner, organ donor law and even had an Easter egg hunt for the blind children on the grounds at the mansion. I also love promoting my newest passion, which is the city rescue mission. This is Oklahoma City's mission for the homeless. We sleep approximately 500 people a night and we serve 1,500 meals a day. In addition to that, I'm involved in Heartline, which has the suicide line uh, attached to it, and President Boren's uh, Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence the University of Central Oklahoma, which I was very proud to be a part of. And of course, my church, Westminster Presbyterian, where friends truly have become my rock. Also, the Donna Nye Foundation for Developmentally Disabled continues to serve. Today, my passion also continues. Tonight, I honor you because you're all involved helping others. We're all busy, but I truly believe service is the price we pay for the space we occupy. Thank you very much.